to be fair. Hey, look. Oh, no. Let's go down uh, to this. Ah, we had Florida problems. We had, excuse you. I we will have, never admit that. We have consistent and always Florida problems. Listen, all of us have Florida problems sometimes in our lives, Brad. <laughs> I have them all the time. And I don't live in Florida. It's uh, weird. Ah, freaking, freaking. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Friday. And I'm excited to be talking about things and stuff and other things and other stuff. Yeah, that's uh, that's Friday. Friday is Fix My List Day. It is indeed Fix My List Day. Let me move all my stuff out of my way here so it doesn't look like I am a, a giant trash bin. But, uh, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So let's talk about things and or stuff. All right. So uh, first up. We got us a list submitted by Kit Smith Hanna, who I actually played at uh, the Dallas Open last weekend. He went six and two with his bugs. So this, I guess he's looking to not run bugs. Maybe he's looking to run some honorable Dark Eldar. Uh, but it was a great game. It was actually on stream. So uh, well, this is a, a combo. This is Dark Eldar with a splash of clowns. A splash of clowns and a splash of corsairs. It's actually pretty cool. So uh, for everyone in the chat, and especially you, Evan, if you want to submit lists, you go on our Discord. If you are a War Room member, you'll have access to the Discord. If you don't, uh, just message us at contact at the Art of War 40K, and we will get you added in. But you have to be a War Room member for it. Um, and then you go to the Fix My List sub, uh, thread, and you post your list in there. People have started posting Battlescribe lists again. Please do not do that. Uh, they're impossible to read, and they're very hard to transcribe. And you will be destroyed. You will be destroyed. You will be. All the people who posted Battlescribe lists, destroyed. You don't want to be like them. So, um... Can we, can we talk about the, uh, one part of this Cold of Strife list that I really, really like? Is please. the fact that there's two units of ten Sacrosents with Halberds in it. I, I don't even know what's happening, but I've often thought to myself, I would love to see some Sacrosents in my Dark Eldar. Uh, that is a list error. You can remove those. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's staying in. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yep, uh, I was, uh, looks like I accidentally left those in from the template. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> like, this is going to make things a lot better, a lot more illegal, but a lot better. I mean, if you just add 20 Sacrosens to a 2K list, like, it's... well, this is not a 2K list. This is unfortunately a 20, like, 12-point list because of a uh, slight error. Just a slight, slight error. Um, Besides the 20 hundreds? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kit's going to say, like, oops, the, the Void Scarred should only have five models. Because uh, he's in chat saying there's a typo. Um, well, unfortunately, the Corsair Void Scarred cannot just have five models if you want a Wayseeker. Uh, you have to have a Felarch, you have to have four um, Void Scarred Corsairs, and then you can purchase the upgrades after that. So you have to have at least a six man. So with that in effect, the uh, the Corsair Void Scarred unit has to be 85, not the 73 that was listed in the Fix My List channel. I think that's fairly easy to fix. Um, and yes, I do think 20 Sacrosens would make this list better. Uh, that's actually, that's it. That's, that's, that's it. I was uh, just about to say, and we're done with this list. Let's move done. on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, don't tell your TO that the Art of Work fellow said to put 20 Sacrosens in your list, but definitely play with them. Yeah, so, I wouldn't even put 20 Sacrosens in a sister's list anymore. <laughs> That's also true. Uh, let's talk about some stuff here. I got some highs, got some lows. I have, the, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. So we've got a Shadow Seer with Twilight Pathways, Mirror Minds, Agent of Pandemonium, Narrow Disruptor. Two units of troops with two caresses, two embraces, and a kiss. Five Corsair Void Weavers, double Star Weavers. We've got Drizar as the Warlord for the full rerolls. Succubus with Hypex for the extra movement, unpaired agility, Morvane's Agonizer, and Show Stealer. That is something that goes on a sergeant, but that's okay. Uh, ten Blood Brides. Is that nine? I'm assuming it's nine Blood Brides in a, in a Agatrix. 
I, so, I believe it's just nine. Oh, but nine itself? Okay. Uh, I just the, believe it. I the, believe it's uh, just nine. How many ten. points are there apiece, Brad? Uh, the blood bridge are too much. We're already going to talk about that because the witches okay. themselves are up. Uh, Archon with fights last. Gin Blade, Splinter Genius for fights twice once a game. Two units of 10 Corsair Void Weavers. A 10 Kabbalah Trueborn with a Dark Lance and two Blasters. Six Corsair Void Scar, the Wayseer, Faithful Divergence. Six Mandrakes. Three Raiders with Dark Lances and two with Splinter Racks. Yes, so the Void Reavers have a Wraith Cannon and two Blasters, and the, uh, the Cobble at Trueborn have a Dark Lance and two Blasters. So he's got, like, three um Roving shooty space. shoot squad, yeah. That's right. Uh, my thing is, is I feel that this suffers a little bit of identity crisis of what it's trying to do. I was actually going to say something very similar. Please continue. So, first off, we have the Cold of Strife Patrol, uh... The succubus is always, it's the probably the best thing in the entire book is having the succubus with uh, triptych whip and competitive edge for one. I just, it's nuts. It works on yes. everybody. It's amazing. I want that in the list. The it's one th of the best characters in the entire game. Yeah. And the thing is, is with our troops here, the blood brides are just really expensive with uh, the double nerf because the everything got a nerf. The blood brides went up, the witches went up. So. I would rather either just have regular witches and just go cheap, or I would just go two small units of witches and then throw some Incubi in here. Incubi yep. are in a perfect state in the meta right now with AP3, AP4 on sixes, and damage two, damage three on sixes. Uh, and you've already got Drezar in here for the plus one to one. They do work on big bugs. They do work on Marines. Uh, they're in a great spot to pummel in here. So I would definitely swap some of this. Uh, because you're just not getting much out of your, your Blood Brides for the bank for the buck, basically. Yeah. So that that's a little bit of an issue here. And then we've got kind of a weird setup. Not weird setup. I just... You get so much more hand-to-hand -hand in Dark Eldar for your point-per-point point than you do uh, for your shooting. So I'd love to see that, that shooting kind of go back over, possibly over into the, the uh, Harlequins. Because uh, even with the point nerd nerf uh even the void we are still amazing to do what they're, they're doing I, mean, I wouldn't say amazing they're all right they're good they're still they're super fine. defensive he is dark so i mean it does make a difference on that so yes. but we don't need to do that i mean i'm just looking to see what we're what we're trying to do because i would like to see what dark elder does better and just have a little bit more punch in here for the points so uh, yeah i'm not against trying to move into something else like try to move into a uh, find like Oh, here's what Corsairs can add to the army. I'm not against that. Here's the um, here's the problem I see with the list. It has a lot of fluff and not a lot of stuff that actually does things. So let's look at the list, right? You have two units of five troops in Star Weavers, which aren't bad in combat. They're they're fine. They're good even, but not amazing. I would probably take the, the most of the weapons off. You only want the weapons to activate the strats in the first place. I don't like... No, the weapons anything. have a good profile. I like having five weapons You like there. five weapons in that? I, I just... Like I'm weapons. just so cheap. I like to have, like, basically two weapons. I know. But, I, I mean, that's going to go against what I'm about to say, which is I think you need more units that do things. Like the core uh, of I agree. This, I agree. Right? So, units that do stuff here um, would be not the Succubus as, a current, as the Succubus currently stands. Uh, although she is illegal, you can't take Mormon's Agonizer, unfortunately. I didn't even realize that when I wrote the list, or when I typed the list up. But uh, I also didn't realize you couldn't take 20 sacrosons. But whatever. <laughs> uh, so you have Drezar who punches. The Archon, not really so much. He, he can punch in a pinch, but uh, not really. Succubus kind of can't. He's, so still, then you have, he's still damage three. He's still there. He I mean, still is. He's also four, fight though, last. Yeah, That's quite last. As I said, like, but but things that are just like going to do the work. You've got Drazar. You've got three boats that have like all right shooting, good supplemental shooting, but not like I'm going to table my opponent with them. And then you have two troop units. That's about it. You have some witches that don't have a transport currently, and kind of just holding ground. And then you've got like to do the damage to an opponent who might be like pushing the center of the board. You have Drazar. You have you know, nine special weapons, three uh, raiders, and ten Harlequin troops. And that does not feel like enough. I I mean, I just want triple incubi in this list. I know that goes kind of away, but we, I could get those points fairly easily. Even if you take, like, five-man units, you know what I mean? It still hits. 
I think you could if you wanted. I mean, if you wanted to go that route, you would, I think, just drop the Harlequins. I don't really see what they're providing here. Or you could go heavier into five-man dark troops and go that way and literally just cut a lot of this fluff, a lot of the Blood Brides, make the Succubus better. Um, the Succubus just tripped a quick competitive Yeah, tripped a quick competitive edge. It's insane. Just, still. It's, uh, it's, it's still legal. But I'm With saying that if, if, we drop the, if we drop the Harlequin, we could literally get uh, just take three Venoms, three Venoms and three units of Incubi and put them in the Venoms. Yeah. Or it could get like two to three Raiders and... Um, make them, you can make a yeah, big like, squad. I'm just saying, even for if you go point for point, I can literally with this right now, I can get, exa- I can get quickly three units of Incubi and three and three Venoms to slap them in. I could, I could also see uh, dropping the Harlequins, cutting the Blood Brides down to five witches, and uh, obviously cutting the Sacrosons. But you would get like three more Raiders almost, and then you'd be able to put the witches and three units of Incubi in those Raiders. <laughs> And you'd have endless OPSEC missiles to throw out as long uh, as well as combat. Um, but if you want to experiment with Harlequins, I- I'm not against that at all. But you need more boats with more troops with more weapons in them. Yeah, agreed. You just you need you just do need at that. that. Time, so, I'd just like to see a troop master if I was going to do that. It, thank it, you, it, thank you for getting rid of the Sacrosons, by the way. You're welcome. I, I like to keep them there for a little bit just because it yeah. cracked me up. I saw. I don't it, want the YouTube comments to be I, all like. I literally saw it right, right away, and, and I was just like, <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, but I'm definitely going live with this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Um, yeah. So what you could do is just take a uh, a dark battalion. And then just fill that out with five man troop squads and star weavers in exchange for. But then it becomes an Al Harlequin squad. Because you, you can only put it in and not break with a patrol. Oh, okay. I see. Thank you for that. So um, it's if you, want, if you want, if you want to add take a third troop and um, third star another weaver. star weaver, and then maybe some combat characters in there, and you just go mono combat characters. I love it. Kate goes, I'm not, I'm not, people aren't willing to play versus Nids and TTS, so I need to experiment with other things. <laughs> I love that. I love that Nids are so, so Kid, nice. Are you coming to, uh, are you coming to Motor City Mayhem? We might get the rematch. I'm still playing Sisters. I forgot how you guys are traveling up to me this time. Yeah, right. I'm playing Sisters this time. It's going to be fun. Pew, pew, my friend. I would just like, how, how, because I hate doing huge revamps. So I like to do just tiny revamps when we're doing Fix My List. Yeah. Are you sold on this Dark Patrol? I I think dark is very solid. No, no, I, I think it's solid, but I mean, yeah. it's either that or we pick apart a lot of stuff. I, I'm just not a, I'm not really sold at the the firing platform of the void meters and stuff. It just doesn't do very much, and I can just punch you for less. I am also not sold on the void reavers with wraith cannon and two blasters. Um, in a raider, it is like 240 points. Here it's 250 because you have the splinter racks. 250 points for that shooting platform is uh, not good, I think, is actually the best way to put it. It's just so, and you're also very close. Just There's I, so many aggressive yeah. armies out there that you're just putting yourself in every every psychic range. You're putting yourself in assault range. It's just, I would rather just have more punch. If you're shooting 18 inches, you really want to be like Dire Avengers, where you're A- Disposable. Yeah. So A cheap. B everybody battle focus moves. Yeah. And then Um, and then you're also just putting out a volume. This is just a small volume of shots for what it's doing with the AP and stuff. I just you're not doing enough damage for the for your price. So I would if we're not against Harlequins. No, 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 keep the keep the Harlequins. Yeah. I like the Void Scarred unit with the extra CP every turn. Just eighty five points. No, I love that because you got a caster in there. I just I I like the uh but I would like to just see us just go, hey, take a couple units of racks, put three venoms in here, put three incubi in here, and let's go bang, and give yeah, us and give us a third star of weaver, and give us a. Uh, I'd love to have a uh, true master in here. Like I see this list, and I'm just like, let me bang, bro. It's just that they do that so well, and they do the shooting so not well. So if I was going to spend my points on this, I would just love to see more hit. And it just things like Incubi are in such a great place right now with everything, and in, into big bugs, into marines, into everybody. They have they just have a good profile, especially with indirect being basically non-existent. Take three three star weavers, three troops. Uh, put that. I'd love to see the uh, foot in the future guy show up. Uh, yeah, he's a menace. Yeah, t- 
two two units of plain witches, both with hypex to steal objectives because they're moving ten, plus their advance. Uh, three units of incubi, three venoms, and you've still got points left over if we switch some of these void weavers and stuff out. You you can still take the trueborn in a raider, which I'm not sold on anymore. I think it was good, like one to two of them was good, at, like when the book first came out. But you can also just drop that and replace it with void weavers, and then you end up with a brutal melee list that has some void weavers running around shooting. I mean, I I would prefer that to tell you the truth. It's just we're not doing things efficiently, and we're also getting too close. I'd like to get too close with things that punch. So yes. that that's kind of where I am with this. Yeah. Um, but I think you can definitely keep Harlequin's Drukari together. I think you just need to focus focus on what you do well, which would be cut like the Blood Brides are probably uh, extra points. So you cut those down to witches. Those are just cheap missiles that are obsec objectives. Uh, the succubus, get triptych with competitive edge, is one of the best warlord trait relic combos in the entire game. You, I would take three troop units with three star weavers because I am sold on the damage output of five harlequin troops with all combat weapons. And then you take foot in the future guy and the shadow seers. Brad was saying, and then you take a bunch of incubi on top of that in venoms, and then. Um, However many points you have left, you divide that by Void Weavers, and you just go. Yeah, I think that list would bang. That that, that, list, that list sounds amazing. That list sounds great. And so. it's not that far off from where you are here. I'd keep the Void Scarred in, but the uh, Void Reavers, I think. You could probably include, honestly, the Void Reavers instead of the Five Girl Witches and f uh, Five Void, Weaver, Void Reavers as a second troop in the Black Heart Patrol, because they are cheap. Um, and they are obsec, and that, I like those two words. But uh, I would definitely keep the void scarred and just make those changes. Um, let me see. I think Kit may have had some some notes before we move off of uh, that he wanted to say. Here we go. Secondary plan is to the last because it would be Trueborn, Drazar, and the Shadow Seer. Herd the prey and R and D. Are you able to take herd the prey if you have a Harlequin patrol? Yeah, because they don't count. The, the, the specifically, a Harlequin patrol means that it, it just doesn't count. It's like it's not there. Cool, cool, cool. So those are the changes I would make, and I think that list would function extremely well. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yep. And it also gives you easier R and D. Tell you the truth, you take some more small units of those guys, of their troops. Yep. So yep. I, li I like that significantly. Let's go into Lynn Krieger. Yes, Rapier's right. battalion. Let me read what uh, Lynn Krieger had to say. Do, 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 do. All right. He said, hi, guys. Great show. New member here. Just thought I would submit the Grey Knight list I'm working towards. Love some feedback and keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Lynn, and we hope you're, have, we hope you're enjoying seeing your list on stream. If you want to see your list on stream, uh, we said this before, but I'll keep saying it again. Um, you want to go to our Discord. You want to go to Fix My List and submit it. Please, no battle scribe lists, please. But if you could include the points, that would help a lot. Just uh, write out the name, the upgrades, and the points, and just list it. That would be amazing. Thank you. Let's talk about this list, my friend. All right. So I think uh, I think there's going to be a lot to talk about in this Grey Knights list. I think Grey Knights are a very interesting army, and they got a new lease on life. But I think there's definitely some changes we can make here. I also, I really like the idea of this, so I'm psyched about looking at this list, because I actually think that this is going to be really good going to the future. So we got an Inquisitor, Castigation Chainsword, Hotshot Lasgun, Ordo Hereticus, Kaldor, my man, Drago, Brotherhood Librarian with all the fixings, Brotherhood Librarian with almost all the fixings, five Terminators, three units of five strikes, a Brotherhood Ancient, a Brotherhood Apothecary, and... Three units of ten interceptors. I'd like. I don't know if I need all these characters. That's what I was gonna say. You have six, and that feels like way too many. That feels like three too many, almost. Like, Maybe two. It, weirdly enough, unless I'm getting a block of paladins or something, I just don't really care about the apothecary because I'm gonna be sending these out as missiles, so I'm not gonna be getting a ton of value on that. Uh, because I'm going to be sending these interceptors out in suicide squads, suicide missions consistently all the time uh, to pull stuff down. I do think they have a great, uh, for, bleh, a great uh, thing right now with the swords. So AP three, uh, strength five is really big. So especially when you got access to hammer hand on these strikes. So absolutely hammer hand on uh, terminators two, I believe, and hammer hand on paladins. You can activate that. 
So it makes you a very, very strong but melee I, force. I love these 30 interceptors. Just six units of five is just amazing to send all over the place. Obviously, you yeah, can... they're great. So you've got a lot of you got a lot of psychics. You got armor contempt. Obviously, indirect is the biggest thing because armor contempt makes it good. The indirect menace going away makes it a zillion times better because you can just sit behind things and not just get annihilated. Yeah, I Drago is fantastic. I mean, he's a beast. But Drago, I don't, Drago's a menace. He's he's pretty good. Yeah, I do like these strike squads quite a bit. I kind of want to take this Terminator squad, some of these characters, and just make a big Paladin unit if you're if that's what we're looking at. If if you want a brick, so I, I think we should take a look at what characters are actually required here for an infantry based Grey Knight list. Because if we look down, I, I think there's plenty that just aren't. So the Inquisitor, I'm not really sure why it's here. I don't want the Inquisitor at all. Nope, yes, 100%. I want to drop the Inquisitor. We do I, I need. We really need three. This having a role. Yeah, I, I do. Uh, the, he's got the yeah. bomb librarian. I like fan, that. Yeah, just to put it. He could put out some serious work on mortals. I like that. The idea of him just coming in. It's not even just the what he can put out. It's the threat of what he can put out. So people have to constantly be aware of that. So it really yeah. messes with their movement. He gives you a tool into Eldar where you can blast screens apart in the psychic phase and then teleport where those screens were. To open up lines of sight it's very helpful in that matchup particularly but then into nids marines anything that's trying to be durable at you you can just blow them up with mortal wounds and it's it's pretty great um so that is always nice to have um but the question is do we need two librarians and i think the answer would be no on that front i don't think um, so i mean it, you're you're getting a little greedy on that you're not going to go psychic for psychic you're going to go psychic for psychic for denies but you're not going to really go psychic for psychic with a lot of the armies out there that are the top. I mean, you're looking at Tyranids and Eldar are going to have a lot of options for that. But it just also opens up a staff more guys because their squads are just so valuable for yeah. just the damage output. I mean, the fact that every five-man squad has 20 Stormbolter shots is just a big deal, especially with a lot of armies coming back into the fray. You're seeing Dark Elder, you're seeing GSC, you're seeing Elder out there. Elder do not want to be shot by Storm Bolters. They, they don't, especially not AP1 ones that wound auto wound on sixes to hit. Yeah. I mean, uh, which you can do a sideboard ammo. Um, yeah, so I think the first thing to... I, I think the squads that we have here are good, although I would probably take the stave out of each of the squads. Yeah, staves, I think. I didn't, go. I didn't even see the staves. Yeah, I, and the thing is, is, I would rather just go, just go all swords. To be to be yeah. fair, I mean, if you want to do anything cheeky, put a hammer in here. But... You could. Uh, I, I like a two to one uh, sword to halberd ratio. But it, it's just I, for me, yeah. it's it's hard for me on that because it's not a different damage profile. So I hate having different rolls unless it's different damage. That's literally just for me in a tournament, just keeping my stuff together. I, I would just say one interceptor squad should be 10 halberds and two should be 10 swords. That, that I would do. I would like that yeah. a lot more because I just yeah. like everything to be the same. I don't like the accidental screwing up when I'm rolling. Yeah. What I would. So the reason the staves aren't that great is I've played a bunch of Grey Knights. I've never used the, the stave strat, the warding stave strat. Yeah. Ever. Same. Same thing. And, I played a, yep. and I played a ton of games with it. I played it in multiple tournaments and I never, ever used it. I took it out just because of that. Yep. Um, so I would take them out because they are also garbage into Marines. Like, like super garbage into it. Actually, they're garbage into everything. AP1 is just not where it's at right now. And so you're going to have some real hard times for that guy punching through. So instead of that, I would just take a sword. Done. Sword's just such a good point right now, especially with more are. Marines coming to the meta. Two damage, AP3 is just good. Just good. You get a lot of attacks from Rapiers. You get rerolls to hit, exploding sixes. It's quite nice. Yeah. So... Let's cut the characters we don't need out of this list in order to take the uh, units that we do want. Let's, so, let's smash an Inquisitor, smash the second Librarian. We got 175 yep. points for those there. I think the Ancient uh, has to go. I mean, I, I'm i not sold on either of them. I could see their buff powers, but like everything is such tons of moving parts. I don't want to castle with this army in the first place, unless yep. we're talking about a big penalty unit. Well, you're probably going to be doing a psychic secondary. Uh, if you're not doing, if for whatever reason you're not doing purifying ritual, maybe the objectives are just not in a place where you can realistically do it. You're going to want to take warp ritual, um, but more than likely you're going to take psychic ritual or purifying ritual, which you can do with your entire army. 
So you don't necessarily need extra characters for that. But I would say definitely drop the Inquisitor, drop the second Libby, and definitely drop the Ancient. The Apothecary might stick around, and you might take Crow. Because Crow is just basically a better version of this uh, Librarian here with uh, Purifying Flame. He's cheaper. He punches way harder. Um, he heroics six inches, which is quite nice. He uh, fights on death also, which is super dope. And he is much cheaper. Um, so I would say on the... On the Librarian, I would drop Sanctic Shard. as uh, Not Sanctic Shard. Well, I might drop Sanctic Shard, but Gem of an Octu, I would cut. It only works on Dominus Powers, so that's not Purifying Flame or Smite or anything like that. It's just Vortex of Doom one time. One time, you get plus two, you cast Vortex. Dope. Is that really worth 25 points? Probably not, uh, especially when you can cast on 2D6, pick the, 3D6, pick the two highest. So I would, I would probably cut the Librarian... Uh, off Gem of Anok 2 as well. I would keep Epitome, Purifying Flame, Vortex of Doom. You can keep Unyielding Anvil. I like Unyielding Anvil quite a lot. And I would move, honestly, the Curious of Sacrifice to him. Because people are going to want to kill him. So what you can do is put Curious of Sacrifice. Now he has a 1-up save with Armor of Contempt and 5-up Field of Pain on top of that. And he becomes very difficult to kill. And then if they don't kill him, he just Mind Bullets them to death. And they can't really do much about that so with those changes we would get about 300 points back even if we keep the apothecary we get about 300 points back that would let us just upgrade all the strike squads to terminators and potentially even take a uh you know if we if we did cut the apothecary then we would be able to take like a purifier squad or something in there or a purgation squad I, I'd like to, something to shoot i would like a purifier squad forward. just because of the fact that i'd like a purifying flame in there it, well, you would. Um, it's only a buck fifteen for five, anyways. You could potentially also take. Um, you could also potentially take Crow in that list. True, 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 true. I like Crow better than a Purifier. Squad. I just like to have that one in there because you're just getting a power that does three damage on a th on a four. You know what I mean? So, it's yeah. just nice to have. Yeah. One yeah, more yeah, yeah. When, when your smites are starting to add up, you know, from the plus ones each time. It's just a nice to have an almost an auto cast going through. Yeah. You could do like. Five Terminators, five Terminators, five Terminators, five Paladins, and try and go that way. I'm going to adverse to also taking, like, two or three Terminator squads and then just three Strike squads on top of that. I'm not against that either. You could take, um, like, ten, Terminator, ten Terminators in a brick and ten Paladins in a brick, and the Paladins just get Armored Resilience, <laughs> and they're the second wave onto objectives, and you split the Terminators up into five mans. Here, that could be good. Here's the, combat squad, I think we can agree on this. For everybody on this because I don't want to again we never want to shoehorn anybody into exactly something what I want is less characters more units in this yep. army so yep. you can just have more stuff and in this Grey Knight list all of these squads are deceptively killy they have a good amount of shots they have a good amount of attacks and they all have a psychic power so like every unit is is really a threat the whole game and it's difficult to get rid of them now, again, because of the indirect and the armor of contempt. So you're just looking at adding, keep adding at least 10 more uh, wounds, 10 or 15 more wounds. Uh-oh, we got a super chat here from Clown Mode. Ooh. Love the clinic. What is the weakness in a 10-man paladin brick? Give them armored resilience and give them double obsec in the middle objective. What counters that type of build? Uh, people killing everything else? Uh, or people killing the paladins. Or, I was just about, I was to say, or people doubling down and just putting everything into. If you're going to take paladins, I really want a bunch of other stuff in here. If I was going to take paladins, I would take out terminators. I would put a bunch of five man strikes in and use those points into a big block of paladins. I don't hate that, by the way, because it's a very I defensive. I also don't hate that. The other thing you can do is you can go the real thousand suns approach and just take twenty paladins or 10 Paladins, 10 Terminators. And then the Paladins basically like just take their entire army for multiple turns. And then the second squad steps out to clean up the rest and to also your opponent has to break themselves on the, the second 10 man break. Yeah. I, I do like really annoying in, in this, like literally with this build, kill those two characters and make the Terminators into 10 Paladins. That's. I, I really like that actually. Um, you don't, like, and, yeah, and it keeps the core Christ of everything that I has. And I, I would say the ancient, I don't think the ancient's that good. I think the apothecary is good. You use one or the other. You know what I mean? So we'll, we'll just what take I, the apothecary, yeah. we just, we, and then we literally just put 10 paladins in here and go call it a day, and the list is amazing. Yeah. 
What I would say is you take the apothecary uh, if you're taking 10 paladins. That way, if they shoot at you and they're with without doing, like, as Siegs loves to say, crippling damage, right? If they shoot and they pick a couple off, A, you can replenish the squad, which is quite nice. But B, the biggest thing, it also gets 6-up field of pain, which is also quite nice. I'm strong. But the biggest thing is then you get closer on your charges, right? Because you res the model in front of the paladin brick. So here's your here's your brick. You lose one model off the back, and then you move it forward five inches, res a model in front. Now you're four inches closer to whatever it was you wanted to charge. It A, makes your threat range really big, and B, punishes your opponent for just trying to chip you. If they just fire a couple shots in you, you can be like, oh, I'm taking my five-up invul instead of my armor. Oh, look, I lost a guy. Oh, damn, now I'm charging you. Yeah, now, the, now I'm charging you because it's just a big base that has to be within uh, within distance. So, yeah. so I actually really like that. I like cutting out the second librarian, the Inquisitor, and the Brotherhood Ancient and just slamming the ter- turning the Terminator squad into ten paladins and just being like... I love Bleh. it. I love everything about that. Yeah. Uh, Jack, you deleted Siegler's GK yesterday. In general, what do you say GK should lean hard on? Basically, what we just said would be the list I would take to a yeah. tournament right now, literally right now. Yeah. It's it's pretty good. I think uh, Siegs was being more experimentative, and he was trying to thread the line between Dread Knights and infantry-based builds. And I think what we learned there is you want to play either all one or all the other. Um, in addition, I was playing Custodes, which is not a good matchup for Grey Knights. Grey Knights have a problem with Custodes generally. And uh, it just shown through when I took, I mean, Brad, I took five, uh, five Contemptor, the Forge World Contemptor Dreads, <laughs> three Achilles, two Galatis, and two Caladius, and I just rushed them. <laughs> yeah, because it's all minus one damage across the... Oh. Yep. <laughs> and my new, my new list would have three Caladiuses rushing down a flank trying to get angles, uh, and five, Dread Knight, five Dreadnoughts moving up the center. The like, that's was, just a that's horrendous it. matchup for Grey Knights. And unfortunately, it's the one you saw. That's not representative of what Grey Knights can do. And but I do think we learned you need to go in one of two directions: either infantry, what we built here, what we've what we've changed Lin's list to be more like, or four Dread Knights. Still good, I think. I really, really like the infantry base list. It just gives you so many options. Even if you're getting your head kicked in, you can just play the game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, absolutely, and thirty interceptors just are amazing. Mm-hmm. I also like if you find the points for it. I like uh, Crow. Crow's real good. More psychic damage. He can hold warp shaping or sanctuary or something. Uh, just a power to cast. And then he heroic six. He fights on death. He's cost efficient. He's Pure, cool. And purifying flame is amazing. Um, and Saki, I think the best list to deal with that would be something like this. Yes, for sure. Here. You, uh, can... you just try and push it back in melee because Dread Knights are going to bounce clean off Custodes. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is that you're going to you can basically move block the crap out of that and just take the board. You tr- try for that. I went first and just advanced everything straight into the center. <laughs> well, past I, the move I would be everywhere else. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I can still put somebody out there every turn just doing Red Rover, Red Rover and getting obliterated. <laughs> that is what would happen. <laughs> yeah, for like, sure. This squad and go stand in front of everybody. Cool. What's our job? Uh, just, just, we'll, we'll give don't, you, don't we'll, ask. we'll That's call, we'll, we'll call you. Just stand there. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's rock. We've got our murdered lady battalion. Why do we keep having our murdered ladies and not bloody rose? Why do you guys know? Nobody spins bloody rose. Everyone on the discords are like, oh, I played Valor's Heart or I played our murdered lady or I played Argent Shroud. And people are like, I don't know about this whole bloody rose business. Bloody rose is the only good one. <laughs> like it pumps I mean, so hard. I, I don't want to bury the lead here, but bloody rose is the only good one. <laughs> like but everyone wants to build Argent Shroud I know. or uh, Martyr Lady or like Evan Chalice or Sacred Rose or any and all of those. I don't understand. Um, I mean, the only good one is a bit of an overstatement, but not like that much. Not like that much. I want to pause on this because we had a GK question before we switch to sisters uh manic gk is like definitely viable versus aldari yes. because the volume shots for instance are just terrifying to him uh, and the mobility yeah it's 30 interceptors basically six units of five interceptors and the gate is just horrific because they can psychic out your screen and then just plop a big unit and just murder all your you're still a bunch of t3 guys running around most of the time so yep. that you do not want to see a big volume of shots show up in your backfield. It, this is a terrifying list. It uh, is. For that. Um, 
So what okay. what what Brad means there is if I'm a if I'm a good Eldar player, what I will do is I will shoot you with a bunch of stuff, and then I will fire and fade, or I will max six inch battle focus, and everything will move back behind walls. And then what's preventing you from getting teleporting to get line of sight or moving up and getting line of sight will be screens so trash like a, a, total trash five like it'll be it'll literally be a viper it'll be five one wound models so it's Three wind riders yeah it's just it's a bunch of nonsense just holding board space right. you can't get the angle on the unit you want to kill and then uh mr mind bullets and a whole bunch of smites and maybe crow will just go and you know go think mark and just kill all yeah. those screens in the psychic phase and then teleport something where they were trying to stop you right yeah. And then you've, I mean, the bikes are only two wounds. You're being, it's just a, it's a bunch of stuff with not good saves getting shot by a huge volume of shots is not what Eldar want. Yeah, exactly. So I think Grey Knights um, are, hu are They're terrifying, wide. terrifying into Eldar. Yes. Uh, I, Nick's list that he just, well, a slightly worse version of Nick's list that he just won the Dallas Open with. I played with a foot Grey Knights list in practice and I beat it by 10 points. Now, Nick, now knows the matchup better, and he made his list better, so I'm not saying it would go the same way if we were to play again, but it just shows you, you can totally do it. I, I killed almost all of his stuff by the end of the game. Yeah, I agree on that. It's just, you can play the game. It's, it's a fun matchup, by the way, because it's very exciting, because a lot of things happen. It's my favorite type of 40k, which is constant moves everywhere and thinks they're dying everywhere, but yes, it is definitely playable. It is so yes. viable. Very, very playable. Let's talk about this not Bloody Rose list. Yep. You guys so are making me, me sad. Uh, let me read It's Frosty's comments on this one. Um, yes, Bloody Rose is so so fun and nobody plays. I don't I don't get it. But whatever. Um, so It's Frosty says this is a balanced or martyred lady list that simply pushes on two fronts. Celestine and Vol lead two groups of units up the board to claim objectives and punch things away. Secondaries are Retrieve, Knockman, Data, and Leap of Faith with Engage or Stranglehold. Engage is taken if the objective has diagonal deployment, so I can immediately start stacking it up. Six Seraphim are perfect for Deadly Descent, and then Retrieve, Knockman, Data. This has been incredibly effective in my games. He has tools. He has 100% his tools. I just like to see a little bit more bang. Yes. I, I want to bang just a little harder. Um, I... I think that, so looking at this, you have a cannoness that smacks, does a bunch of mortal wounds. Um, you have Celestine who smacks, and you have Morvan Ball who smacks. Other than that, you have 10 Sacrosants who are fine in combat. They're not great. They're fine. You have Paragons who, if they get there, will rip, rip stuff up, but I like otherwise... The thing is, I do, I hated Paragons. I literally like them now with Armor, Contempt, and Owner Red stuff. With Morvan Vol, these are very effective at just picking up vehicles. With full rerolls on multi it's yes. it is nice to just shoot six shots that are going to just shred vehicles, and they can also protect her. So yeah, and you can get plus one to hit on them, so they're hitting on twos. I, I like Paragons a lot more than I used to, and I'll be honest, this is not taking a bunch of the units that require bloody rose in order to be effective in combat you still have a bunch of combat in the list you have four mortifiers with buzz blades you have three paragons with the war blade although they get way better in bloody rose because they're <laughs> over six man you have exploding fours to hit um it, you have sacrosons just don't you don't have my favorite unit my That'd two be, favorite units will one of those be a dogmata oh he has a dogmata, dogmata the Re repentia and zephyr yes repentia and zephyr are great it's just things that can extend the board and hit really hard are just so good especially again Morvan Vol just makes nuclear bombs out of all these these units by giving him full rerolls and then you extend out either with a bunch of superior with advance and charge or just moving 12 and then charging so we're doing a little bit something different here and I don't we're, we're really trying to play the board is what we're trying to do here but I feel that you're going to have a little bit of an issue if if the NID player just says, I'm going that way, you're going to have a tougher time. Yes. So, because, like, yes. if they take Malice Scepter Advance and Char, or just, you know, the Malice Scepter's Advance, Warrior's Advance, the two Flying Hirons just zoom, 
and just go figure it out, you have a lot less damage than we could from sisters right now. You yes. have to make them pay. Uh, anybody that yep. over just extends and just kind of gives you a damage check, uh, you have to, in this meta for sure, you have to have enough where th you, you have to be able to answer that. Because, I mean, yeah, this list does have a lot of counterpunch. It, it does, even though it is Armored Lady. Um, it has four Mortifiers, which are good in combat, although I probably want to see a little more than four. Um, if you're taking those, it has three Paragons, which can bang pretty well and uh, also have a multi melt apiece. Um, after that, it does drop off. You have to start committing special characters or you have to commit Sacrosants that aren't that, that great in combat. Like Sacrosants with pass a chant for three attacks apiece, it's strength six, AP three, one damage are not the best. They're not the best. We do at least have double damage, two damage on the on the, the lead girl because she's got the spear, so that's two damage there. That's but true. but it's only one uh one set of attacks. I don't know, I, and I hate to poo poo on other other orders, but just it, I mean I had to change my for instance my list that I'm taking to MCM, I had to change it up just because I needed a little bit more just pure damage because people can damage check you. So as, as cute as you want to be, it is great with that. And by the way, this has a lot of great things, and I love the Seraphim. I love the three Battle Sister Squads. I think Battle Sister Squads are uh, underrated now that we, again, Armor and Content plus the indirect nerf. Battle Sisters are fantastic for just taking objectives and hiding, especially yep. sitting on terrain, taking a two-up save. Uh, feel great. Incredibly difficult to get rid of, unless they're right in front of your opponent's army. So, it, yeah, it's, you, you're basically using this Battle Sisters to... I mean, also, you can put two in reserve if you want to for a CP, walk on, take an R&D. You, you can do that, obviously, with the Seraphim also, because you can shoot in the move. You know, you can use your strat and then perform your your uh, secondary. So th you've got lots of options in this, and I love all these. I would keep a lot of this. I would just like to see a little bit more, a little bit more bang. But I don't know if I can do that in our Martyred Lady. I'd also probably... And even though it used to be the the go to, which is more of it, Volstein, I Vol's my 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 only hundred percent go to right now. I, I could see a Bloody Rose list that doesn't have Vol in it. Now, currently, I'm not running one, but I could see a Rhino Rush no Vol list in doing well. I, I think it really can. Rhino's got real good. Yeah, it's just man, it's just so hard to not have just full full rerolls. It's just disgusting, especially when, especially with everybody not having a lot of shutoff for them. You know what I mean? So yeah. you're not seeing, obviously, Custodes can only do it once a game and only on infantry now. So it means that you can do all this and you're not getting picked up by indirect now. So you have the opportunity to take Zephyrum, Retributors, and stuff like that. Not Retributors, uh, sorry, Repentia. But, and I, I know I'm a broken record on this, but it's just, you just need, you, you have to have the things to play the mission, and you do. I love these core pieces. You know what I mean? You're like, this is how I score my points. Perfect. Then you have to couple it with, how am I scoring my points and how am I doing enough damage? Because there's just going to be games where people just go, I've pushed on you. You have you to, exactly. It? You have to at least be able to dominate a flank and just yeah. get out of there. Yeah. So um, if you look at my, my sister's list, the reason it's built the way it is, is because it's designed to, if your opponent, you know, messes around, they're going to find out. Um, it packs, it packs in as much damage as I physically can put into the list to keep people off of me. And then I play the missily hold objectives game. Um, so what did I put in this list to make people back the heck off? Um, I put 20, I put 21 Repentia. I put two bricks of retributors that are very hard to deal with. By the way, if you haven't played the 10 man retributor brick with four multi meltas and a simulacrum, simulacrum was free. Um, then you're missing out. With Vol, they real hits and wounds, and they're very difficult to kill if they're in cover. You got to get through six models before you get to the multi meltas, and that makes it very frustrating in cover with Armor of Contempt and a five up invuln. Makes it very annoying to um, to try to get to the multi meltas and stop them from firing. Um, and I had two. One unit would like sit still and shoot. Now, what you could do is take three Paragon War Suits and a big brick of Retributors. I think that would totally be fine. I like that a lot. Plus, it makes it gets you a chance to put those Paragons on the off the shelf and onto the board. Now, I really want Paragons to get a ten to fifteen point drop before I really want to play them. 
Um, They're still but, expensive, like 100%. Hey, maybe I can meme on people. Maybe I'll add it to my list. And you could pop the strat. <laughs> right. Yeah, if the exploding fours. Like if 10, uh, if 10 Terminators move to the center of the board, I'll be like, where did they go? I don't see them. So in this list, I love the cannons. I mean, the, the Martyred Lady cannon is bangs. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I want 500 points in characters in this particular meta. I'd rather have some more things that hit. I'm honestly not sure what OML gives to this army. Let me look up the supplement just to see if we're not missing anything. I mean, you get a, just a metric ton of uh, Miracle Dice, at least. So I, I think with the new Miracle Dice changes, let me put it this way. I was playing Bloody Rose, and I did not have a single problem getting a 12 on Leap of Faith. I maxed Leap of Faith every single time I took it, without exception. And I did it in the game against Siegs as well. So looking at the supplement, he's got the Blade of Sacrifice, Martyr's Strength, the person who does a bunch of mortal wounds. Yeah, she, she smashes because she does a huge amount of mortal wounds. Uh, you get real hits against orcs. That's pretty... Uh, Random. Uh, that's the law. Um, It'd be better if it was a few months ago, but yes. <laughs> uh, you get plus one to hit, and one CP plus one to hit in melee against units that are at least 10 more models than you. Bleh. Um, uh... Vehicle can act at full. Don't really care. You don't have any of those. Yeah. Um, Thanks, kudos. And I'm afraid we we do have to remember that Omar Lady has the obsec strat and some shoot on death shenanigans. Yeah, Bloody Rose actually also has shoot on death shenanigans, um, which is pretty dope. Plus, Repentia have just fight on death shenanigans. And hold on, it's a strat, and now they just come with it. <laughs> Pound. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, so a martyr duty, uh, a martyr's duty is uh, the same as the bloody rose stratagem to shoot on death, but it's cheaper for retributors, which is dope. Um, but I really don't think that's a reason to take it. Um, the ob count as obsec. I don't see. Here we go. Yep. Um, Art martyr lady paragon or infantry cannot fall back and has the objective secured ability. Um, if that unit already has the objective secure, then it counts as additional. That's that's pretty cool. You pick it at the start of your movement phase, so you won't ever get screwed on not being able to fall back with a unit. Like your opponent never won't be able to just tie up on you. That's cool, but you do also have the dogmata that can make you obsec, which I is probably I, not. It's just easier, yeah. And yeah, I don't see anything in here. Uh, like a unit that is at below half strength can, uh, at the end of your opponent's shooting phase, can shoot. I would just rather have multiple units or a patch and a unit is up from. Yeah. I don't see what's I, I don't see in the supplement what's driving you towards Order of Martyr Lady, to be honest with you. It's just more AP and more attacks is just you're gonna have a damage check. And I, I know I'm, I'm just going on that, but it I've played so I mean I played two tournaments in a row now where I only play I basically only played Tau and, and Tyranids. So yeah. it's it's a big deal on that. And then every Marine player you play is also has armor contempt. You know what I mean? So you, you're going to yeah. need to, and a lot of these are going to be, you're seeing a lot of the assault Marines coming back too. You're seeing the scars come back. You're seeing the blood angels. You're seeing the wolves. You know what I mean? Those guys are all going to just go, especially if you're playing on things like GW terrain, player place terrain, they're just going to stage that middle zone and just go, do you have enough damage to, to make me not do this? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think that's the biggest change is you just need to put more raw damage. So I, I think it's got to be Bloody Rose. Um, Our Martyr Lady is cool, but I think you just need that extra damage. And then I think you just drop like Mortifiers for Repentia or some, probably Celestine for Repentia because Repentia are not that expensive. It is, I did Celestine. Um, I don't even know if I keep the Sacrosense in here. If we drop, we get 365 points if we drop those two and we get Zephyrim and Oh Repentia. yeah, the Sacrosense definitely got to go. So. so something else here is that the Dogmata has, um, oh, sorry, nobody has the plus one uh, invuln save, which kind of makes sense because you don't have much to benefit from it. But I would take the Hospitaller with that if you were to change over to some of the units that we're a little more of a fan of. Yeah, I just I think if we just put a little more bang in here, I love the I love everything else. I love the six man seraphims. I love the three battle sisters. Uh, I know that's what you're going to put in the battalion anyways, but I just that used to feel like a really big tax, and now it actually feels pretty good because they just sit and hide and don't instantly die. So 
I I like I like a lot of things about this list. It just needs a little more damage. Yeah, I think that's that's mostly it. And Repenture are one of the cheapest sources of damage in the entire game. Uh, 14 points per model, I believe. Um, I, it's like 104 for, for yeah. 8 or whatever. Yeah. But it's, so, it's so cheap for what it does. So cheap. Um, it's 70 points for 5. So, yeah, it's 14 points per model. At that price point, they punch holes in the moon when they hit you in combat. <laughs> it's insanity. Like, they hit so hard. It, it just I just want it. I just it's, just, it. it's, it's big on this, and I think sisters are... A top three, top four army right now. They went from zero to hero with a quickness. They yes, people have been acting like I I made I did my run at Dallas with like a with like an off meta pick or like a not that great army. Dude, they're a top four army. They smash now. Yeah, they, they literally took really all. Strong. They took all of the reasons that they didn't get played with much, and those all got thrown out the window. So that's just good. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're I, super good now. I got to talk some math with Mr. Adam Lane. Everybody, it's not in the war room. Now's a great time. And you'd also get to watch the very next thing I'm doing in three minutes, yep. which makes uh, me super those, happy. For those who weren't here when I when I said before, if you want to submit your list for Fix My List every week, you want to be a war room member, and then you go to our Discord. And in the Discord, you find the uh, Fix My List channel, and you post your list in there. Please no battle scribe. Just <laughs> write out what the units are, what their upgrades are, and how many points they are. And then uh, we will go over them and try and take your list maybe in a slightly better direction or swap out some units, something like that. Until then, thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.